It's October 6th, and here we are. This is probably going to be a pretty short video tonight. Um, we're just getting the hinges fitted up. Uh, going to try and finish getting them marked. Um, we got them all clicoed on. We got them drilled out and clicoed on uh, to the rear spar of the elevator. And now we're just going to flip this down, and then we'll we'll uh, put this uh, trim tab up against here, get it all measured up and in position, then we'll, we'll mark uh, this hinge here. And we'll do that all the way down. And once we mark them, we drill them out, take it apart, drill them out, deburr it, clean it. Um, and then, I'm not sure, have to look at the book where we go from there. Um, one thing, I didn't show. We already finished fixing it after we did it. Um, when you put the when you click all the hinges on, be sure you click them from the inside. Um, not from this side. Not from this side. We click with all these hinges all on here. Got everything all nice and trued up on the bench here, and went to put this on and went. Wait a second. There's Clico sticking out of there. So we just went and flipped them around, put them in from the back side. Just no. That's a couple minute mistake. It's not going to pass it. my... That's why this is riding too high. Yeah. Because I was wondering, because when you go because like this, it's like, that's way up here, and that's kind of mm -hmm. pushed push down to find it. Yeah, but you get through it. So, yeah. I'll order, I'll so order. We'll do the whole thing again. Well, we can keep these three, can't we? Those two, those are fine. What's wrong with them? Well, it's going to be the whole thing. But these are great. So, see here how the hand is in here. So this is the fun of the hinges on uh, the trim uh, tab for the elevator. Um, we did all that work to get these three hinges lined up. Thought we had them, but um, once we got everything kind of fitted up, we uh, after we got the hinge on there, got it marked and drilled. Then you flip the aileron or the one of these days I'm gonna stop calling this an aileron. Flip the elevator over. And uh, then you you fit up um, the trim tab, and then you mark the holes in it where you're gonna where you're gonna put the where you're gonna put the holes in the hinge to rivet it in. So got that all done, and was fitting this up, and I kept thinking that boy, this one just didn't it didn't seem right. Something didn't feel right, and sure enough, uh, the other two are fine, but the other two or this one is, I don't know if I can get a shot of this. You can see it sticking up above the skin right there, which is a no-no on this. Uh, that needs to be, actually needs to be flush with the bottom side of the rear spar down in there. So that hinge is about, oh, I don't know if it's a 32nd maybe. 
maybe a sixteenth, um, too high. So um, I'm gonna have to order a new piece of hinge. So we'll get that ordered up here and we'll uh, do it again. The other two are fine. Um, those came out great. Uh, they're, they're perfectly flush with the uh, skin on the top of the elevator. Um, and that one's good as well. But this one down here is gonna be our problem child. So we're gonna do this one over. Um, so we'll order a new piece. Uh, we're actually not going to be up tomorrow or Thursday or Friday. Uh, we'll be back up here Saturday. By then I'll have the squeeze riveter with the dimpled eyes and we'll be able to set this aside and we'll be able to work on the horizontal stabilizer that's over on the bench over there. Yeah, unless the part comes in, I'll, I'll see how much it is to get this two-day uh, two day from Aircraft Spruce. Uh, they sell this stuff pretty much by the foot, um, and it's cheap. It's really cheap. So I'll get that ordered up and sent out. But if it doesn't get here, then we'll just set this on the bench over there. Uh, we'll get the horizontal stabilizer over here. We'll dimple die countersink and rivet that fairing area and get that done. So that's going to be it for videos for probably about three, four days uh, till we get back up here. Um, but if you've got any comments, please let me know. Leave, leave a comment. Hit the like button if you're liking this stuff. And if you have any suggestions on a better way to get these hinges aligned, um, man, I'm all for it. Let me know if you've got a surefire way to do that. Um, and I saw Robert's comment uh, on the video, previous video, about doing a single, a single hinge in there. That, that's really, that's an interesting thought. I'm kind of really curious how that would work. We're too late to get that done. We'd have to drill out 30 some odd rivets to put a single hinge in there um, and alignment and drilling and everything would be a huge, uh, a huge chore to get that done, to clean all that out, drill it out, drill the hinge, line the hinge, mark the hinge, drill it, mount it, rivet it, put it on the tab. Well, I will just stick with this here, uh, but that's a interesting thought. Anyways, uh, leave me a comment. Like the video if you like it, and subscribe if you don't. Subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good evening, and uh, we'll be back in, uh, like I said, probably three, four days. That's it for now.